now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. I like to keep track and pick out the top 10 best weather days of the entire year. Clearly uh, today, one of them, the sunshine, low humidity, dry air, temperatures upper 70s to lower 80s, including uh, the 80 in Providence, upper 70s on the South Shore, Taunton topped out at, uh, well, Taunton topped out at 77, a little cooler, but nice out on the Cape with Hyannis at 72, slightly cooler tomorrow, but still getting temperatures in the lower 70s. Threat tracker now through tomorrow, Saturday, can probably add Sunday as well. In the low categories, very tranquil, dry, sort of uneventful weather in terms of, you know, widespread precipitation or any kind of weather that would have a high impact on your day-to-day -day activities, whether recreational, travel, morning commute weather-wise will be fine. Perhaps the, the sun glare might be a problem, but that's about it. Downtown Providence, moonlit skies in 60 on a northeast breeze at 6. Relative humidity now coming in at the 75 percent. 56 cooler in Smithfield right now. Temperatures in some outlying areas. Uh, north and west of Providence will get down into the uh, low 50s. In fact, it's already uh, 50 in Taunton, New Bedford at 54. So this is the time of year where you can be pretty cool late at night and then you get nice warm ups during the afternoon. Satellite and radar composite showing the clear weather all across New England right now. Storm well to our south off the southeast coast of the U.S. Rain, wind, thunder. But again, nothing to carry that up the coastline. Of course, while we enjoy the gorgeous weather, we need the rain, moderate drought, and we don't see that precipitation headed our way. Future cast shows as well. Watch the, clock, watch the clock here, starting off this evening and overnight under clear to partly cloudy skies, cool temps. Tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., starting off about 50, 55 inland, uh, near 60 at the coastline. Sunshine gets to work. Now, it's not 80 tomorrow, but we'll get up into the uh, lower 70s by 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Tomorrow evening uh, around 6 o'clock, we are clear 60s and then later tomorrow night will fall back into the 50s once again. So it's kind of the weather pattern is just play, then repeat, play, then repeat. And same uh, weather pattern over and over again. Future cast tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. 69 degrees and then low 70s with sunshine uh, during the afternoon. Now it was a real comfortable day. You earn a living working outdoors. It's just gorgeous. Seven day future cast. Look at the weekend. Nice both Saturday and Sunday. Upper 60s to low 70s. Oh, Friday night football, high school football, Friday night weather looks real comfortable. Temperatures, you know, kickoff is usually around 7 o'clock. Temperatures at that time uh, in the mid 60s, so it's comfortable for the players and the spectators. Nice weekend, extra clouds on Monday. All right, you see raindrops on Wednesday. Doesn't look beneficial. If anything, it's just a few light showers on Wednesday. Most of that seven day period looks uh, pretty dry. Uh, nighttime temperatures. Uh, generally in the 50s. As I mentioned earlier, the long range outlook, well, now through uh, mid October is for above average temperatures. We don't see any significant cool downs and we don't see a lot of precipitation. So it's a warm start to autumn. Which is nice because you can go outside, do all those autumn things and not have to be too bundled up for yeah. all. And especially when summer seems to go by so fast, it's nice to get a warm autumn. Yeah, it's a nice transition for all of us. <laughs> it's slow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, Tony, thanks. Much more to come.